Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I have spent a couple of very fun days on the table. Uh, the project is not quite dry yet, I just put the legs on it. Uh, so it is right there drying, telling me don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. So a fun project with a cigar box and some delusion paints, which I hadn't used before. Lindy's uh, Sparkle inks, spray paints, those are so fun. Um, vegan leather, brown paper bag, cuddle bug, that kind of thing. Um, and Mod Podge, yay Mod Podge. Love Mod Podge. So created a fun box for some cards that I have made. Huh. And thank you so much to Catherine for her donation. Much, much, much appreciated. And if you are a Patreon member, I am doing a drawing on the 15th. Um, I've been purging a little bit. Not enough, but I've been purging a little bit in my studio. So I have a box all ready to send out. So thank you for all of your support and all of the ways that you support our village. See you on the table. So here's our project for today. I took a cigar box, put underpants on the inside, painted and sprayed ink put some vegan leather on the outside, put legs which are not dry yet. Let's see if I can show you. There's the legs. Nice little hatch latch on here. Very, very fun box. So this is what we're doing today. This is actually a request from Amanda Jane. She was wondering if we could take a cigar box and put some vegan leather on it. And this box, I'm going to start putting my Lenormand cards in. It's the right size for that. And that's what this box, we're going to transform that box. I took a brown paper bag and I just made it into strips. All different sizes. I'm going to make them in smaller strips. I just take my ruler and rip the brown paper bag. Make sure you got a bunch of fun pieces. I have a whole pile of beautiful brown paper bag strips. These are the Dilution paints. They are very bright. They were gifted to me. I've never used them. And I thought maybe it might be time to play with them. Ooh, and there they are. I've taken all the paper out of the inside of the cigar box and I am going to reinforce the hinged areas with gaffer tape. And I'm going to go around the bottom and reinforce that with the gaffer tape as well. Alright, I have all the edges covered with gaffer tape. We can put hinges on here, but this is strong enough that the hinges won't take any of the pressure. So they would be for uh, adornment only. And I'm going to take Mod Podge and my underpants. And I am going to put underpants throughout the whole bottom and maybe the top. That I'm not sure about. Alright, I have the bottom and the sides all done. Mod Podge and underpants. You know how to do that. I just force it into the corners and into the bottom in the corners down there. Everything feels pretty good and tight. I'm going to go ahead and cover this. I have the uh, underpants put on the top and I've kind of stayed away from the very, very edge, trying not to build up that edge too much so that the box will close. <laughs> we'll see. Let all that dry. I'll probably add some paint to this, but I'm going to wait until I get the exterior done before I decide on a paint color for the inside. 
I'm going to put my rice bag on the top of this, see if I can stretch that gaffer tape in the back a little bit so that this will close. All right, I have my paint swatches in a box. Thank you, Shelly, for that reminder. I'm bringing in a Lindy Spray Caribbean Blue, and I'm just going to go in here and spray those pieces just randomly. And let those dry. Look at that. These are gorgeous. And I'm going to put these under my rice bag, flatten them out, and bring in the next swatch. All right, I have the yellow green ones, and I'm bringing in Cattail Copper Brown. And let that dry. Yep, these are gorgeous. Stick them under the rice bag, flatten them out. Right on the turquoise ones, I'm bringing the Dilution Shimmer Fresh Lime in. Mm -hmm. As usual, the Dilution does not want to spray very well. I put a new sprayer lid on it. Yay, there we go. When there's a will, there's a way. Woot woot, and let it dry. Gorgeous. All right, gather these up, put them under my rice bag, and move on to the next step. I'm going to do one color at a time in my cuddle bug. I'll bring in one of my folders. I might be able to get two pieces on here depending on the size of the... here. And I am going to put the shiny side with the label side. And I will run that through my cuddle bug with an ABB board. ABV in the cuddle bug. Then I'm going to take it through one way and then back through the other. I'm used to really forcing papers through and these are thin And we have beautiful embossing. So I'll do all the green, then we'll come back with the next color. I'm going to put the purple one in this cuddle bug folder, run it through. Now to speed things up, because we're always looking for that, you can overlap the pieces and they will still embellish gorgeous. Look at those, they're beautiful. And for the turquoise and green, I am going to use a bingo card with lots of numbers on it. That sounds fun. Here again, you can overlap and they will emboss just fine. I have my beautiful cigar box, my beautiful embossed pieces of paper, and I am going to use Mod Podge, and I'm going to start gluing those pieces on to the cigar box. No particular plan here. Now this ink will bleed if you put Mod Podge up the top. So we are not going to do that. and just have fun putting papers on your cigar box. All right, I have the back done. What I'm finding best is to apply Mod Podge to the back side of the swatches and then lay it down and then press it down with a paper towel. 
as to not smear the uh, spray inks too much. And I tear my pieces instead of cut them because they do glue, glue down easier. The original strips were uh, torn as well, but they do stick down better if you tear them. All right, on to the side. All right, we have the front and the side and the back and the other side done. Now we're going to go to the top. Before I do the top, I am going to paint the bottom with some um, black gesso and let that dry. While that bottom is drying, I'll put our patches on the front. bottom is dry, mostly. <laughs> the top is done. All four sides are done. I'm just going to leave it like this, walk the dog, and come back and play some more. I have the hinges and the little screws right here. Just going to poke a hole. One, two, three, four. Take my itty bitty screwdriver and screw the screws in. I'm putting a little closure on the front as well. I just poke a hole where I want the screw and then I just screw it in. I have a couple of black stays on ink pads. I have no idea if they're juicy or not juicy. So we're going to start on the back. Pick up that embossing. Beautiful. And I'll go through the whole box, pick up the embossing with the stays on ink. I'm going to take some of the matte medium, put it in my workspace. And some of the purple paint that I used on the exterior of the box. And I am going to randomly paint the inside of this box to make it go with the exterior of the box. Take a paper towel and just smush that around so we have some color we can still see our underpants. Do that to the entire inside of the box and the lid. gaffer tape around the, all the edges and do the same thing. Put down some paint and rub it off. the bottom. My gorgeous box. So happy with that. The inside is beautiful. Nice and dry. Now I'm going to put some uh, feet on it. I have these Tim Holtz feet, legs, whatever you want to call them. And and E6000. 
So these are going to sit on the box like that. Looks like you can screw them in if you want. I am going to glue them. So these are bite size E6000s. Thank you Bonnie for that tip. I'm just tucking the E6000 back in that corner. so that it will be stuck to the bottom and to the sides. And we will let that dry. Alright, I have the legs on. They're not dry yet. But now our box <laughs> is beautiful and complete. I love it. Gorgeous. Go create, go play, go have fun. <laughs>